I'm a clinician scientist and an ophthalmologist. I graduated from the Hong Kong UMed MBBS program, and I also graduated with a Master's of Research in Medicine. I'm a professor of infectious disease epidemiology at the School of Public Health. I'm an associate professor in the School of Biomedical Sciences. My current team has about 20 people, and we're interested in targeting the roots of cancer through the better understanding of cancer stem cells. And importantly, I did my PhD here, and I'm a proud alumni of Hong Kong U. I did an undergraduate degree in mathematics and statistics and I knew that I wanted to research on applied statistics and medical statistics to go into medical research in the future. So I found a supervisor that was also doing that and then I came to Hong Kong soon after I finished my PhD and it's been, it's been wonderful here. I conducted this MRES uh, research program uh, during my uh, fourth year of medicine. So for the year, I worked purely in the lab and at the end of it, I had an opportunity to present my research in the International Liver Transplant Society uh, annual scientific meeting. I developed my lab experience as a undergraduate student um, and volunteering in a cancer research center. And after finishing my master's in Canada, I came back to Hong Kong and worked as a research assistant uh, in the Department of Medicine and Surgery. I think these two years are very important as I got to work in different research areas, uh, which further reassured that my interest lies in cancer. They should have a passion and also uh, even a reason for the field of interest and understand that dedication is required. They will do better, I think, if they are more optimistic and be able to face potential failures and also be open-minded. We're looking for smart people who are really enthusiastic and passionate about doing their research. They've looked us up, they've read the work that we've been doing and they know that's what they want to do. Academics is important, but it's not critical for a student to have first-class honors. I think students who have previous experience with research through either summer intern, research assistant, or final year project will definitely also have a competitive edge. So are you interested in animal models, uh, in vitro research, uh, working with new techniques um, with your bare hands? Uh, that would be uh, wet lab. If you're interested in data analytics, big data science, then that would be dry labs. They should also try to understand the supervisor as well as their teams and understand whether their working styles align. Usually students will approach me uh, by email um, outlining their research interests and experience. And if I find the student um, suitable, I'll line up an interview uh, followed by a follow-up interview with my team. Teamwork is very important in the lab setting. What I'll look at is if the students really looked at what we're doing carefully. Uh, so we're working on COVID and flu and, in, and respiratory infections. So if I get a research proposal that says, you know, it's about HIV, then I'll tend to think maybe that's, I'm not the right supervisor because I'm not really an expert on that. And if I get emails that are obviously blanket emails to, to everybody, that puts me off a little bit as well. It's best to communicate with your intended supervisor and come up with a plan. Uh, it's important to identify a knowledge gap and outline how your research proposal can address this problem. Um, ideally, of course, your research project should be novel and you should also consider the most updated technologies and try to incorporate that into your studies. It's fine to apply for a PhD without much research background, but I think you really need to know that you want to do it because it's three or four years commitment. One way to develop research experience is through attaching to labs. Uh, labs will generally offer training and the more time you commit, the more you will learn. There's the Master of Medical Science program where you can uh, work with either one of our clinical departments or one of our basic science departments. This is a taught postgraduate program but it does require you to have a thesis at the end of it. Now for MBBS students of our Hong Kong UMed faculty, there's a specific option available, which is called the Masters of Research in Medicine program. Both uh, are focused on clinical and translational research. One other thing that, that I've been doing in, in the past years is trying to encourage people to contact me earlier. Sometimes I have some research assistant positions available so they can come earlier and see whether they really like the environment here, the research that we're doing. I would really encourage students to think about what they're interested in, what they'd like to learn, 
and the PhD is a gateway to a lot of different things. So it's not always necessary to pick your future career. You can do a PhD in one area and then still switch over later. Look at who the supervisor is going to be and, and make sure that you want to work with that person and learn from that person and that you, you're interested in the projects they're doing. The first message is give it a go. If you don't put yourself out there, uh, it is very difficult to have these opportunities. The second point is to realize that when you're doing experiments, failures can happen, but on the bright side, there's a potential for you to develop the research project far beyond what you expected in the beginning. So don't be afraid to test things out and say yes to different opportunities because you'll never know what that will lead you to.